Today's video is going to be a bit different than my usual stuff. Today, we're going to work on an animation system based on 3D pose estimation. Given pose estimation, I want to create a humanoid avatar that would move the same way the body does. And I know that avatars are not great and that GANs can get much better human looking results and that avatars are not widely accepted by the deaf community and whatnot. But GANs don't currently really work in real time on any device and avatars do. So this is a first step towards getting something that looks like a human. I think the idea for this video is quite doable. What I want to do is that given that we have an avatar, already have an avatar that looks like a human and knows how to move, I want to run pose estimation on that avatar and then try to recreate the animation rotation quaternions from the pose estimation. Given that we only have pose estimation, it is unclear how to recreate the avatar rotations. So for example, if I have this hand here and I have this elbow point and I have this wrist point, these do not reflect on the rotation of the hand. And this is something that is clearly needed for the avatar. So hopefully we can recreate it using deep learning. Lucky for me, I don't have to create these 3D characters myself. Instead, there's this website, Mixamo owned by Adobe, which has 3D characters and animations. So right now, for example, we're on Mutant, but we can go to something that looks more like a human. Uh, this is Remy. And every character is driven by a skeleton. So we can see Remy's skeleton here. Uh, he has hands with many points per hand. He has a very underarticulated face with just three points. So maybe if we animate Remy, we can't do much with the non-manuals with the face, but at least we can do something with the manuals with the hands. For every character, you can also find a large set of animations. So if we go here, we can see that we have Capoeira maybe, where we see the skeleton now doing some Capoeira or actually Remy doing this. We can also do other animations, like maybe this defeated animation or some reaction with a spin. You can see that these animations are not very sign language oriented, but they do have some articulation of the hands. Maybe this can generalize. Ideally, it would be amazing to work directly with animation of sign language, but it's just that here it's just non-existent. Here we can see an example, I think, with uh, a very detailed finger articulation. In general, this website has 2,500 animations, but it doesn't really allow to download them all at once. So I found a script online that can call this website and download them one by one. It took a few hours. But now we have some data, and we can start working on the animation system. At first, I was reasonable. I chose to use Blender, a 3D modeling and animation software, which can show these animation files as well as run Python. But it was way over my head, so I looked for an alternative. In retrospect, the web was the obvious choice. I'm much more experienced with web development, definitely over some 3D software, and I'm much more comfortable working in this environment. We have a model of Remy here. We can move it around. It's using Google's model viewer library, which by itself just uses 3JS with a GLTF loader. And we can click this pose button to get some pose of Remy. If we click it one more time, maybe, then now we have the pose. And Remy is sitting down. We can move him a bit to the right, click a few more times until the pose tracks. But we can see that we can get some decent pose estimation of Remy. Maybe we can take this pose and convert it from this format to Remy's actual articulation format. And then we can drive the animation system just by using this 3D pose estimation system. But not all animations are a still frame. In this one, for example, the character is rolling out a frame. And we want to be able to capture the character throughout. The advantage of using this model viewer with a 3JS backend is that it's very customizable. In this case, I could just change the animation such that any position changing on screen would just move to zero. And now the character is always centered around. And now we can also animate entire pose sequences. Now we can use this thing I built to load different characters and different animations 
so it can record data for many different types of movements. Then we'll train a model. Okay, so now after training a model, I added this animate pose feature to the sign language processing playground. If I click it, then Remy shows up. And let me just stand so we can animate Remy. I'll move to the side so you can also see me. Um, I have the pose uh, on myself. You see that Remy doesn't really reflect it. Uh, if my hands are down, then Remy's hands are down. If my hands are this way, then Remy's most likely this way. My hand raised, then Remy raises as far as he can. Um, maybe if my hands are open, then Remy's hands are open. My fists are closed. You can see that Remy's hands are closed, more closed than open. Open, closed, open, closed. This is not the result that I was expecting or that I was hoping for, but um, we can see that Remy just doesn't replicate me as well as I was hoping. And uh, we can also I don't know, spin around. Remy would kind of spin around. Uh, I think this is because the model is also tasked with correcting the errors coming from the pose estimation, uh, not just my pose estimation, but also the training data pose estimation. Maybe if I was training with the 3D poses directly rather than a holistic estimation of poses, this could have been better. I'm not sure how to get these poses as of now. So this is as good as this can get. Uh, but at least the sign language processing playground also now supports this animation. So in case that I come up with something better, I can just swap it in and we have a system to move with. All right, so to conclude, I couldn't get to where I wanted to with this video and with this animation system, but I hope that a future video will present some improvements or a new method on how to do this. If you have any comments or suggestions, comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye.